So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth uh, Tree video. And today guys, I want to talk about and showcase to you an armor piece. An armor set even, that I have seen absolutely nobody talk about. I've seen nothing about this. And wow guys, it looks incredible. Now I know people are looking at this thinking, that's just the, the High Priest dress, the High Priest robe. That's nothing special, that's nothing new. But this, this armor piece holds a secret. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the High Priest robe drops from uh, an enemy, a, a dude called Count Ymir, Mother of Fingers, who is basically the main dude at the end of the Ymir quest line, which you do not know. If you don't know about this, I'll link it in the video description. It's a great, great quest line, uh, Ymir and Yolands, which can reward you if you want to, if you pick the right choice this sword of night one of the best new weapons in the dlc but you also guys get this you get this right here this high priest or the robe now if you look at it guys it's right there the high priest robe it offers nothing at all really in regards to buffs to your build or anything gold embroidery decorate sea purple cloth with a jeweled rough that sparkles like a flower wet with dew okay cool that's it now, I actually found some on this, and I couldn't believe it, as I like to alter water garments. If you've got this unlocked, guys, come to any grace and come down to alter those garments, and you'll see something incredible. There it is right there. Come down to it. Cost you 500 runes, which I'm sure you've got to spare. Alter it, guys. And now check this thing out. Look at that. It completely, I know obviously altering it, can, normally it just takes off the hood or takes off the the cape or something like that. But this completely changes it to something incredible. You've got a chain of fingers down the front, some on the back. you got a massive fluffy cape. It's puffed you out. It looks incredible, guys. And not only that, it also, when you alter it, gives you a buff. The wearer, it enhances finger sorceries. Pretty cool, guys. Absolutely incredible. Now, like I said, this is something I've seen nobody talk about. I was just messing around thinking, oh, I'm going to try and order some of these new garments we got. Some of these new robes and shit. And this is one of them. Utterly amazing, guys. It really is. So, yeah, a short but sweet video. Um, again, if you don't know how you get this, What's actually called now? It changes its name, doesn't it? Okay, it's called now called the finger robe. It's now called the finger robe. So yeah, if you don't know how to get this, guys, you need to take part in and complete the Ymir uh, quest line, which actually starts, guys, right here. So if you don't know where to start this, it starts within here. Now to get to here, guys, you need to. So as soon as you beat Relena, Twin Moon Knight, you gain access to. She's in that in here, by the way. You gain access to the High Road Cross. You then come to. Um, more Thurans, come through here, end up here, make your way around, just like so, and you end up there. Now, I'll link my guide in the video description, the complete guide of this quest line, uh, if you haven't got this yet, but yes, it's definitely worth it, because this is one of the most unique looking armor pieces I've seen in this game, in the DLC, without a shadow of a doubt. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.